Common carp. Collect a few apples. Where am I going to find apples? Oh. Oh, I have to look around and find these little barrels of apples, huh? Well, something tells me i got to go do some ex little bit of exploring here. Alright, we didn't see any over there. Let's try over here. Yep, there's one. Oh, wow. I never saw this before. Huh. Okay, did I go everywhere here? Because I bet you. Or maybe they're just out on the dock. Let's see. There's... If there's one over there, I probably... It was probably there and I didn't even see it. Let's see. So I'm supposed to find five of these? Well, hopefully it's out on another dock. Or there's two somewhere else. Let me see. Is there one down here? Actually, I didn't know you could go that far. You can't go over here? Yeah, you can. Okay. No, there's not one here. Well, let's see. Let's go back to the map. Yeah, there's got to be another one somewhere along here. Not this way. Well, there can't be one here. Okay, I give up. Where is the darn thing? Do you need a boat? Uh, something tells me I need a boat. Uh, did I check here? I think I did. Yeah. You can't really go anywhere but here. Yep, yeah, something tells me we gotta get a boat. Well, it's going to be easier to find if we use the canoe. This lake isn't that big. Let's check over here. Now we already checked on that one. Obviously there was one. Let's see. I don't see any over here. I don't know that I can even go over here. Yeah, I can. Well, maybe not. Let's see here. Nope, I cannot go there.
Uh, I am not seeing any more barrels. Well, I'm going to keep paddling, guys. If I run across another one, I'll let you know. But we've only found three, and that ain't going to cut it. Alright, guys. If you look on the map... Well, I can't see... Hold on. We are right over here. By this little island here. I'll show you. There is one out here. I didn't even know you could go here, honestly. I think there might be one on the opposite shore, so let's get back at our boat. Let me show you here on the map. This is where we are. So there's one on this island, one on this island. And there we go. That takes... Alright, well we've got all that. Now we need to catch the unique carp. And I think... At the beaver... Fishing the beaver. Keep calling it Beaver Island, but actually it's Fishing the Beaver. I think this is the place that I've caught the unique carp before. Over there by those markers, but I don't know if that's what I'm marked here. Okay, there's Trophy Common Carp. White Sturgeon, probably. Oh, Steelhead Phantom. Yeah, I think. I caught it there, at that marker there, honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how deep I had to fish for it, too. I think it was pretty deep. So let's... We could try that again. Is there anything else that had to be... Let's see. Just says, catch unique common carp. Doesn't say about having to use any particular baits okay that's good so that means I can bottom fish we'll attack this from all angles here I'd say at least a two-aught hook We don't need this. And bait wise, either peas or sweet peas. Let's go with sweet peas. We're going to try right there at that marker. Size our hook up a little bit. Never get a bite. Ah, oh, too early. Really? All right, fine. I think it's on there this time. All right. Well, that's a good sized fish. I don't see me getting unique right off the bat here, but I swear to God, if I do, it would be pretty darn cool. It's definitely a carp. Trophy. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I don't think this one's as big. Yeah, just a regular size one. I think if we attack this, like I said, from all angles, we are going to get this guy. We're at a peak, which is perfect. No, this is not a big one. So two trophy already. This could be it, guys. There it is, guys. The only thing is, it didn't... It didn't tick off, guys. It didn't tick off. It didn't count. Holy crap, it did not count. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. Let me see something. Does it say? Catch unique common carp. I see I caught it with golden corn. So it had to be the rod. Catch a unique carp and fried a sweet and sour sauce made from fresh apples. Are you kidding me? Yep. Use a telescopic rod with golden corn. I have to use golden corn and a telescopic rod, or at least... Hmm... Didn't see that. Oh, that sucks. I got a unique one. <laughs> it didn't count. Oh, man. I'm not even sure that the bottom ones are going to count. Probably not. Shoot. That stinks. Yep. I don't think we're going to do it this way, guys. Shoot. Well, I'm not going to get the casting distance on that. The telescopic rod, I don't see how. I might get it with this one, or the other one, I mean. We'll see if the matchstick rod counts, but I can only get that far up. But this... We do want the fullest extent on that, though. I cannot believe that. That really... Okay, that is as deep as it'll go. God, cannot believe that. So it's got to be golden corn. I didn't... See, I was looking at that, and I just didn't see... I was looking at that. Telescopic rod, golden corn. Mm. See, I already had it on there, and I didn't notice it. Let's do this. Let's mark the last fish we caught. Oh, it was just a common carp. Back on it. I'm pretty sure it was right over here, though. Damn. That really, really ticks me off. <laughs> I, I had it. I had the darn thing. Alright guys, I am back. I did go ahead and upgrade one of my, at least my matchstick rod. 
I can't really do anything except, well, I did, I guess, upgrade this one too. I've got the Troy 19 foot by 8 inch. That's about as big as the the uh, telescopic rods go. But that's only 11 pounds. I don't know if that's even going to be heavy enough to bring a unique carp in. But this will. I did upgrade it to the... This is one I got from the, I think, the Christmas event? The chocolate bar rod and the choco boom. These go up to about 33 pound test. 30 pound, 30.8 pound for the reel. And we've got 28 pound floral. That should hold up without any problem. So we're going to give this, this a try. And like I said, we do have to use the golden corn, just like before. And it looks like it's hitting bottom. That's at 117 inches of a liter, so I extended it out as you know as far as I could. Might bring it in and shorten that a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. I'm not sure of the depth there, but might try 90. Yeah, 117. Let's try 90. If that's not deep enough, we'll fix that, but I think that'll work. If it does still hit bottom, Okay. I think we're pretty close. All right, we're going to put that down. And here's the Troy. See, we can't get it all the way out to that spot either. Uh... Barbless hook number two. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Probably need a... Probably need a four. Now, hopefully I brought a four. Yeah, I did. Okay. We'll put that in... Well, we'll, we'll see if 98 will work. That's yeah, still just about the right depth. See, that one's kind of resting over a little bit, so... Alright, we got one on this one. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, 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 okay. Do I have a light floral leader on it or something? I must. I thought I changed it, so... Well, to make it more challenging. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little bit harder to get in. Now let's just hope it's not like a salmon or something. I'm not making a whole lot of headway here, guys. This may take a while. Several boring minutes later. Alright, guys. This has been a really long fight. I don't know what I did with that leader, but I must have put a very light one on there, or left one on there, or something. Because... 
28 pound test should be enough, so it's got to have a weak point somewhere. And it's got to be at the leader. He is so close. That's ridiculous. Can't get him close enough to netting. That was a, almost was able to net him that time, but he was deep. <sighs> he keeps getting too deep. That's it. Holy crap. He was 31 pounds. Not a bad fish. That's even though I've already caught a unique earlier, but I didn't get it the right way, apparently. Let me take a look at this fellow. Yeah, he's a decent sized, unique common carp. Definitely fits the bill here. And the mission. Let's get a picture of him. I think this is it, guys. I think this is the final one. He's good size, that's for sure. What the heck did I do wrong with that darn thing? Let me see here. <laughs> yeah, I still had 15 pound fluorocarbon. That's what I did wrong. I was going to switch it off with something a little bit stronger, <laughs> but actually I don't even have anything stronger in here. So I definitely challenged myself, but I got him. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get the dish. You found Thanksgiving dish Chinese style carp. The item is placed in your backpack. All right. Well, I guess we got to leave now. We got to take that to Lone Star Lake. So we are out of here. And I think, guys, this might be the last of this event. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it might be. that away. Get over here to the cornucopia. Chinese style carp. Claim. Mission accomplished. Thanksgiving dinner. You did a good job. That's it guys. We completed it. We managed to get a Native American canoe. So now we have two canoes. A vintage rocket bobber. A vintage umbrella bobber. A vintage spindle bobber and a Golden Turkey Award. Well, let's go ahead and claim that. And I think that is all. I think that's all we can do for this event. Yep, we are done. So the Golden Turkey Rush has been completed. And the Thanksgiving event is done. 
Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I don't think we're going to be doing much next year unless they change it or add to it. But until then, we'll see what happens. But I'm hoping they add something to the upcoming Christmas event because if it's still the same thing, there isn't going to be a whole lot we can do except catching some of the event fish. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, as always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.